Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in our So Easy series. Today I have for you a tutorial for a circle maxi skirt with a gathered elastic waistband and we will be using the print Aqua de Rose from our new selection of wide back fabrics, 108 edition. These fabrics come in four screen printed options and while they are perfect for backing your quilts, these 108 inch wide fabrics can be used to make other things too such as curtains, a bed sheet, or this circle maxi skirt. Using 108 inch fabric is great for a skirt like this since it is wider than your typical 44 inch wide fabric. There is no seam down the side. Before we get started, we will need three measurements based on your body and how long you would like the skirt to be and where you would like it to sit. Since I made mine high waisted, I found my natural waist measurement, which is 38 inches at the smallest part, the measurement of the widest part of my hips, which is 44 inches, and the length I would like from floor to where my natural waist is, which is 45 inches. For the length, I also subtracted one and a half inches to account for the waistband. For the radius, which is the top opening of the skirt, take your hip measurements and divide by 6.28. Mine comes out to about seven inches. Once you have those measurements, let's get started. Also make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to get notified on our new videos. Here is what you will need. 3 yards of your 108 inch wide fabric, a 4 inch wide strip that is the same length as your larger hip measurement, in my case 44 inches, 1 and a half inch wide tightly weaved elastic that is the same length as your waist, in my case 38 inches, a measuring tape, scissors, pins, a fabric pen, and a seam ripper. Start by taking your wide back and folding it in half selvage to selvage. With your fold at the top, fold it in half again, matching your cut edges. Your two folded edges should be at the top left now. Make sure you are starting here and not at a selvage or a cut edge. Take your measuring tape and line up the end at the corner with the rest extending out onto the rest of your fabric. Since my radius is seven inches, I will make a mark at seven, then slide my measuring tape over about an inch and make another mark at seven inches. Continue to do this until you have marked from fold to fold, always making sure the end of your measuring tape stays at the corner. Next, move the start of your measuring tape to the line you just drew and extend it out. Make a mark at your desired length. Mine is 45 inches minus the one and a half for the waistband, so I am marking at 43 and a half inches. Once you have marks from fold to fold, draw a line that connects the marks you made and cut on both lines. Once you have your skirt cut out, hem the bottom by folding the raw edge up on the wrong side a quarter inch, and then a quarter inch again. Take your waistband piece and fold it in half lengthwise with wrong sides together. Press to hold in place. Then place the short ends right sides together and sew at one quarter inch, creating a loop. On both your skirt and waistband, find the four quadrants and place a pin. This will help to make sure your waistband and skirt line up when sewing them together. Keeping your skirt right side out, line up each pin on your waistband with one on your skirt. Keep your raw edges together and pin your waistband to the right side of your skirt. Sew together at one quarter inch. Next, take your seam ripper and find your seam in your waistband that attached the short ends together. Carefully rip just the inside seam of the waistband to insert your elastic inside. Place a safety pin at one end of the elastic and thread it through till you can grab it from the other side, but don't let either end of the elastic get lost in the waistband. Sew the short ends of the elastic together and evenly distribute throughout the waistband. Hand sew the opening closed and your circle skirt is ready to go. You can make this skirt any length that you feel comfortable with and it's the perfect statement piece for the upcoming spring. I hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time, happy sewing everyone!